Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have an exciting video. I'm going to be doing a whole review, first impression kind of deal on the new L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Collection. That is why I look pretty glowy right now. I did go ahead and pick up one of these products a while ago. You guys know I'm all about dewy, healthy skin and I love a lot of glow. Whenever new drugstore products come out, I get super hyped. So I know these products actually came out about like a month ago, but I did just hit stores recently. So I figured I would go ahead and pick all the products up on my own and go ahead and share a review for you guys because you guys like, some of these products, when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh. Um, yes, thank you. And we're gonna go ahead and jump on into the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and start off with is the Lumi Glotion. So this is pretty cool. I found this really intriguing when I was at the store. It pretty much is just a glow lotion, an enhancer to go ahead and light either underneath your makeup, mix in with your foundation, or if you wanna apply a darker shade, you can use it more as a contouring, just to bronze up the skin. So I'll read to you guys what it actually claims, and then I will go ahead and apply it. So what it says on here is it instantly hydrates, luminizes for an all over fresh, healthy skin. You can go ahead and apply this under makeup using a lighter shade to illuminate, or you can use this for a darker shade and use it all over as a bronzer or contouring. So I thought that was really cool. I did go ahead and pick mine up in the color 902 Light Glow. They do have four color options, I believe. So I went ahead with the light one. Hopefully it's not too light. You get 1.35 fluid ounces in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump a little bit on my hand. It's really pretty. It looks more like a champagne color to me, so I think this color might work. So I went ahead and picked up the lighter shade so I can go ahead and put a little bit underneath my foundation and see how that looks. Now this isn't going to be a primer in any way, it's just going to help with the glow and dewiness of the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a primer first actually since I did not do so. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this Glotion to my hand. I want to say like that much of a pump. I don't want to go too overboard just because it is glowy and it is going to lay underneath our foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and start Putting it right here. Ooh, okay. So as you can see, it does have a little bit of a tint of a color to it. That I don't personally mind, but if I would have gotten the shade medium, it definitely would have been way too dark for my skin tone. And if I went too light, which is I believe the color fair, it would have been too like iridescent white. So this I think is perfect. It's more of a champagne kind of glow. I like that a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over. And as you can see, as I just rub, it just is appearing like a healthy glow onto the skin and just looks like a glowy moisturizer. Now, if I wanted to, I can mix this in with my foundation. I think that would be really pretty, super pretty. It's super radiant. It just gives me like a healthier look on the skin. If you can see that, it just kind of has a nice sheen. I'm also gonna bring some down to my neck. I think that look is super pretty <laughs> and it doesn't give like too much of a color where it's like drastic change, literally just giving a very natural sheen and glow to the skin, which I appreciate. I always go more towards the glowier skin. So this is like actually really beautiful. I do not mind this product at all. Yes. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit to the forehead because I don't like when my forehead is like super like radiant looking. I'm just gonna put it around it. And honestly, on my skin right here, it looks beautiful. Like, I like that natural look, even on my nose, on my cheeks. Like, I just think it looks like a really healthy, radiant glow. And it's actually drying already as we're talking, so it doesn't feel really tacky. It feels really nice. It just feels like a lotion and a moisturizer, but a little bit thicker. So this for me, A+, plus. this was $12.99. So that is it for the Glotion. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. I'll speed that up and come back with it already on. Now that the rest of the face is on, I went ahead and did my foundation, concealer, set it, put some lashes on, and a little bit of quick bronzer. Now we're going to move into the rest of the highlighters in this collection. Now for all this, I picked out the colors that I thought would go best with my skin tone, but the only thing that I went ahead and picked up two shades in were for these Glow Armor Drops. These are glow boosting drops, so you can apply it into foundation, you can apply it just on top of your cheekbones to get that liquid glow, or you can even put it on first before your powder highlight to really intensify it that way. So I thought these were really cool and they reminded me of a higher end one. I did go ahead and pick up two shades in this one. But the rest, I went ahead and tried to pick the shades that would best match my skin tone. Now each one of these range for $12.99 at the drugstore and they can vary. Off with the glow drops, I'm going to apply this first because the rest are powder products, so I'll use the liquid one first. This one is in the shade Golden Hour 508. And then this one is 507 Daybreak. 
And this one is more of a champagne color and reminds me a lot of the Cover FX one that I actually own and I love that one. Although this is the reason why I got two shades is this one looked a little bit too light for me and like very in your face blinding. So for me personally, I am light toned. I feel like I can get away with it. But sometimes the lighter highlights I feel give a cast when you're looking head on. So I did pick up the lighter one just to give it a test. But I also went ahead and picked up the golden shade. But I'm going to go ahead and start with this color right on the dropper and I'm just going to take it right to my cheekbone and that is what it appears like when I swatch it on my hand so it's very light very reflective super bright highlight it feels really nice and smooth and silky it really just blends easily into the skin I'm actually going to use a beauty blender to blend this in just because I feel like it is a liquid it'd be a little bit easier a little tiny drop more and use a little bit of this brush just to apply it that way and I'll stick to doing it oh that's way too much <laughs> Okay, right there. Okay, that is a lot, but it's nice highlight. Like I definitely think that the pigment is here. It blends out really easy. That's really nice though. It's super, super highlighting. And it does look it's like it's more of a pink champagne color. So it is pretty. I think using a brush, you get more of a highlight effect than using the Beauty Blender. I think it just soaks up into that sponge and didn't really give a, too much of a glow. All right, so that is the one. I this gold one a little bit over top and mix the two. See, these two mixed together is a beautiful highlight. The gold on this side on its own. Whoop. Whoa, I think I put too much, <laughs> but I like a lot of glow, as you guys know. I'm gonna move a little bit over here. Oh yeah, I think I like this gold one a lot better. Glad that I got it to try it out. I'm gonna add a little bit more since gold is my thing. Yeah, that one is beautiful. Wow, I really love the gold one so, so love much. It and my Cupid's bow. And I like that it's on the dropper. It is pretty thick, the product, so it's not gonna be pouring out, which is great, but it's nice to go ahead and apply straight to those areas since it is liquid. I like that it's on the dropper. I really think that Glotion like, looks really great underneath my foundation. I'm really happy about that. That is a product I know I'm gonna continue to use, as well as this Gold Glow. This just looks like a really luminous like makeup look. I really like it. I'm gonna add a little bit down by my collarbones and a little bit on my chest. And it doesn't have any chunks of glitter in it, which is amazing. So I think for the price of it, I think you're getting your money's worth because you're not going to be going through this like water. It's not going to be a product you're using like this much of. You only need a little dot and you're really good. That It will last you a pretty long time. And yeah, I'm really excited about them. So we have the highlighting palette and then we have the Lumi Shimmerista Loose Powder. I'm going to go in with the Lumi Glow Nude Highlighting Palette. This one is in the color Moon Kissed. And then they also have a deeper tone one, which is more of like orangey ish colors and like a deeper brown highlighter and I'm not going to spray the brush or anything like that I'm just going to tap in and wow you get a decent amount of product okay I'm going to take this deeper one first and apply it right over here oh that's pretty okay yeah that is really pretty this actually reminds me a lot of the Anastasia ones and they feel really nice this one is a white one that's more of a holographic -y color it has like a little bit of a tinge of pink to it, a rose goldy pink, a champagne color, and then a like deeper bronzed color. And they do seem like they have a lot of pigment to them. So I'm gonna go in with this one right over here. And I am gonna be super glowy in this look, so if it's not for you, this isn't a makeup look that I'm suggesting to do. I love the glow, so I will probably wear this a lot, but I'm just trying to show you guys the products layered and then by itself. So. This one, as I move, kind of looks like it gives more of a pink kind of color, and I think they're really pigmented. So I'm gonna put, I, I don't know where else to put it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right by my nose. Wow, okay, yeah. So these are really pigmented. Whoa. So we got the colors Moon, Venus, Jupiter, and Twilight. That is the names of these colors. Super beautiful. I think that they are pretty like creamy for a drugstore. I think you're getting a lot of pigment with them which is really nice, and it doesn't seem chunky, doesn't seem glittery at all. It's very fine milled, which is nice. A little bit to the other side to be even. 
That is the powder highlight. I really do like it. For me personally, I don't think I would gravitate towards this one in all honesty. Um, if you're one for traveling and you need highlighters on the go, this one is kind of cool for you because you get the four colors and they're awesome pigment. I'm not saying the product is bad. I personally just wouldn't gravitate towards this, more towards those liquid drops. So out of the whole collection, for me, I would pass on this one. The last thing in this collection that I have to share is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Shimmerista. So this I did feature in my previous video. I had showed a trying new makeup products and I did just pick it up like a couple weeks ago. I picked this up first out of the entire collection. Then I was like, you know what, let me go back and pick up the rest of the collection so I can share with you guys because highlighting is my favorite. So I figured it would be cool to show you guys. So I did already use this product alert, but I'm going to show you guys anyway what it does because I just kind of quickly did it. So it is a loose powder in here and it was already opened. So it looks like this. This is more of that rose gold color. This is the darker shade that they have in the line. Then they also have a super light one. Now that is the next thing on that is that I wish that they had more color options because this was the darkest one and it's like a rose gold pink. Now I don't typically use that like I said before, but if you're one to use that, you might really love this product. They have a super light one that I believe is like that white iridescent color and show you. So I'm going to pop a little bit in the cap and it's very fine milled. It is a very loose powder and has an awesome pigment, I must say. I do like it. You get 0.28 ounces in here. I think you get a lot of product in here. And again, this was $12.99 too. I'm gonna apply it right over here. I'm gonna apply it right here. I think that this is a great product. So I'm just gonna add a little bit right here. That is beautiful. This also reminds me of a higher end highlighter, the Artist Couture ones, which is really nice. I'm a big time fan of those. Love, love, love using those. So yeah, that's what this one kind of reminds me of. And I definitely think for the drugstore, L'Oreal outdid themselves with the way the product is formulated. It blends super easy and it's not like it's like chunky with filled with glitter or anything like that. But I like the way that this easily blended out. It looks like it's butter. The only thing with the downside to these products is that there is only two colors in each of the products. So there's only two options in the highlighting palette, two options in these glow drops. There is about five color options in the Glotion. Even the Illuminator, there's only two color options as well. So the only thing I wish that there was more of was more color ranges. I really don't have anything negative to say about these products. I'm really impressed with them for being drugstore. They are a little bit more up there in price range, but as for everything now that's coming out in drugstore, I feel like everything is getting a little bit more pricier, but the formulation is getting better and better. So I think that is kind of worth it. So yeah, these products were an A plus in my opinion. I will again have all of the pricing either on screen or down below as well as all the products that I used today in this video. So that pretty much wraps up the new L'Oreal Glow Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe found it a little helpful. If you guys are looking for this, definitely check your local drugstore. They did just come out. And until my next one, I will catch you then. Bye!